Hello and welcome to this edition of the Spartan News Update. I'm Shannon Line and I'm going to be diving into the recent events in the news within the last week. Kate Middleton gave birth to hers and Prince William's third child on Monday and made history in the process. The third royal baby is a boy coming fifth in line for the royal English crown. This making his big sister, Princess Charlotte, the first ever royal to come in line before a male sibling. Due to a law that the monarchy overruled back in 2013, before Prince George was born, the gender of a royal no longer determines the line of succession. The royal family has not yet revealed the name of the baby prince. One 29-year-old man opened fire at a Waffle House in Tennessee, killing four and injuring four more. Travis Ranking started shooting in the Waffle House in Nashville Sunday morning wearing nothing but a green jacket. He managed to kill four people before a customer was able to wrestle the AR-15 from Ranking's hands. The shooter fled the scene and was found by police two hours later in the woods. His bail was originally set at $2 million and has been revoked by the judge. President Trump met with France's President Emmanuel Macron yesterday to discuss a new deal with Iran. Both presidents met to entertain the idea of negotiating a new deal to block Iran from obtaining nuclear weapons. Trump and Macron agreed that the deal made a few years back by the Obama administration was a bad one and needed revising. Macron says France plans to continue to block Iran from access to nuclear weapons until 2025. We will not repeat the mistakes of past administrations. The campaign of maximum pressure will continue. A student at the University of Central Florida has been arrested for sexual assault and could face life in prison. Sophomore Jack Smith and junior David Kirk were arrested for allegedly raping a woman at a party Friday night. When Smith faced the judge, he was told that he could face a maximum sentence of life in prison for the crime. The victim said that she only remembers pieces of the night but recalls waking up during the assault. Both men are in police custody. And that is all I have for you today. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of the Spartan News Update. We'll see you next time.